Susie! I've been waiting here for ages. Did you click Amazon Prime? Well, now I've got to wait here for two to three working days. I've got to get to school, Susie. <sighs> Come on, baby, love my fire. I'm not gonna be talking today about the doors, but about doors, about this door, about doors in general. I just think doors are so interesting. Doors are just portals to a new thing. It's blowing my mind right now, standing in front of this door. I'm overwhelmed by how flipping cool doors are because it could be a door to a new home it's an, or a new adventure. You know, taking that step out through the door. Like, we don't know what's on the other side of it. And it could be a door that hasn't got any windows, it hasn't got any inclinations about what's next. And that's maybe what you're going through at the moment. That's what I'm going through at the moment. There's a door, or maybe there's loads of doors, or maybe there isn't a door, and you're searching for a door. And so I'm, I want to look at the paradox of the door. And what I mean by that is, but there's two things that are kind of going against each other and we've got to live in that tension. Ooh. With a door, we're waiting, waiting for the door, waiting for the door to open, waiting for God to open a new door. When he closes a door, he opens a window. You know, all of that kind of language that gets thrown at us about opportunities. Or do we work hard? Do we try our best to hustle, to think creatively? How can we create a door? How can we, you know, maneuver ourselves so that we can get through a door? So living in that tension between waiting and working and can we wait and work at the same time and what does that look like? And that's what I'm going to explore this week. At the moment, I think in our generation of walking in the tension, walking in the mystery, walking in the uncertainty, because that's what I'm doing at the moment and it can be so paralyzing, it can be so scary. It can be so daunting to stand up against the door or for, to stand up against a brick wall where there isn't a door, where it feels like you're trapped in this like living room of lethargy, you know. So I can't guarantee there's going to be answers, but there's going to be a documentary of what's going on, of my thoughts and feelings through this mystery, through this uncertainty. This week I'm in Sheffield visiting my lovely girlfriend Louisa. And I hope you've had a great day, a great bank holiday, despite the weather. Let's go.